What's going on YouTube? It's Forever Zawai and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be making these beautiful chocolate covered strawberries. If you guys have not, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in with some freshly washed strawberries. I did go ahead and wash these in some warm water because you don't want your strawberries to be too cold because then when you go to dip them in the chocolate and put them in the refrigerator, it can crack your chocolate. So make sure that your strawberries are at a room temperature. Um, the chocolate that I'm using, these are just some regular chocolate chips. You can use any chocolate of your choice. It'll all melt the same. Um, and I'm using some uh, what used to be measuring cups before the numbers rubbed off the side. Um, <laughs> just make sure that you're using a microwavable bowl. I like to use these because of the handles and it's just easy, to, it's just easy that way. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour my chocolate into these measuring cups and to get my chocolate really, really melted, I'll add two scoops of vegetable shortening to the chocolate before I put them in a the microwave. So what I'll do is add the two scoops of shortening and then I'll microwave each chocolate for 30 seconds. Bye bye. <laughs> so this is how it looks after I've took in the chocolate out of the microwave for the first 30 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add it again for another 30 seconds. So I melt my chocolate for a total of 60 seconds. Um, with that shortening, you really don't need to do much. As you can tell, it gets the chocolate really, really, really melted and it's, it's really, really smooth. That way it's easy to do it with this. Some people do use coconut oil as well. So if you have coconut oil, you can use that as well. No, it does not affect the taste. You do not even taste it at all. It just tastes like regular chocolate, if you guys are wondering. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the white chocolate. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some nonstick parchment paper and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it over a cake board. Um, this is just a board that I had in my cabinet. You can use anything that's a flat surface, but you definitely wanna make sure that you're using parchment paper because you don't want your, um, your chocolate to stick to whatever you're putting it on. So you wanna make sure that whatever you're using, cover it with parchment paper. Now these are just treat bags that I had in my cabinet. You can use Ziploc bags or you can even use a little squirt bottle. I just find that these are easier. The squirt bottles are just too hard for me to clean out. So I'll just use these bags and I can throw them away when I'm done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that all of my strawberries are completely dry. This step is very important because if you try to dip your strawberry while it is wet, it will not stick. It will be a hot mess. I had to learn that the hard way. So make sure that you're drying all of your strawberries. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take um, a toothpick and stick them in each one of my strawberries because sticking a toothpick in your strawberries does help um, you dip the strawberries easier. You'll just take this, uh, the, like the leafy part of the strawberries and wrap it around a toothpick and boom, it's easy to dip that way. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a hole in my bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt it out a little bit just to make sure that um, this lid is, um, I cut it enough to, to drizzle my designs. Um, and so guys, for this step, um, dipping the strawberries is just kind of self-explanatory. Just dip the strawberries. Um, I think I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> um, this one you guys can watch. Um, the next steps are just gonna be me designing the strawberries. So you guys just watch and see how I do it. Okay guys, and I just wanted to say that this glitter is non-toxic glitter. I did buy, purchase this from my local cake supply store, but I do believe that they do sell this on Amazon. So I'll try to actually find the link on Amazon and post it for you guys.
Okay, and in case anyone is wondering, um, the only thing that I'm using to make these designs other than the chocolate is a toothpick. As you guys can see, these are just the same toothpicks um, that I use to put in top of the strawberries. Okay, one important, one important thing I think you guys should know because this is a mistake I made when I first started dipping chocolates. So for instance, I just dipped the white chocolate, um, the strawberry and the white chocolate, and I drizzled it with the dark chocolate. You wanna make sure that both of the chocolates are still wet. This is the only way you're gonna be able to achieve this uh, pretty effect. I remember when I first started dipping chocolates, I would dip the strawberry and the chocolate, wait for it to dry, and then uh, design it. So all of the designs that I'm doing is while both of the chocolates are still wet. This is the only way you can get that marble effect and you can get, you see how pretty that is? So make sure that the chocolates are still wet in order to get this effect, in order to blend it like this. All of the chocolate, all of the designs I'm doing, all of these chocolates, I am doing it while they are still, both chocolates are still wet. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some edible luster dust that I did purchase from my cake supply store. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that with some lemon extract. If you have vodka, you can actually mix the luster dust with the vodka as well. I'm just using lemon extract because I don't have any vodka, but they, they work just the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that together until I get like a, I'm looking for a paint-like texture. So once I get that texture, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the strawberries um, that are gonna be covered in the luster dust. Now these are actually the strawberries that you want to be dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip those and I'm gonna set them to the side until they dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint them with the luster dust a little bit later. And guys, I just actually thought of another design that I wanted to show you guys. So I just added two more strawberries. I wanted to show you guys how to do marble strawberries. So basically what I'm gonna, you see how pretty that is? But I didn't add enough white uh, chocolate to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more white chocolate to it and then dip the strawberry. Basically, as you can see, um, I just decided to drizzle um, some white chocolate onto the dark chocolate, dip the strawberry, and I'm gonna kinda just twist it a little bit just to give it like a swirl effect. Um, it is so pretty as you can see. Just drizzling that white chocolate over the dark chocolate. Take the strawberry. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in. As you can see, I'm gonna just twist it a little bit to give it a swirl. And that is so pretty. I had to show that to you guys. That is so pretty. So once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the strawberries and put them in the refrigerator for about 10 to 20 minutes, just until they dry. The white chocolates are already dry. It's the dark chocolate. As you as you guys can tell, if once you start dipping chocolate, you will tell that dark chocolate takes forever to dry and white chocolate for some reason dries way faster so once the chocolate is dry i'm going to go ahead and just take my luster dust and just create some designs like some polka dot designs on the strawberries Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take this edible glitter spray that I did purchase uh, from Amazon. I'm sorry, I purchased it from Walmart. They do have it on Amazon. <laughs> but I'll definitely go ahead and find the link and I'll post it below for you guys. I'm just going to go ahead 
and just it's like a glitter pump but it's not really like a glitter it's more like a shimmer so it gives it like a, a shimmery effect i'm just going to go ahead and just um i guess spray them on the strawberries um but i wanted the strawberries this would be a little bit more sparkly so i'm going to go ahead and take this um rainbow non-toxic glitter and I'm just gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them um, on the strawberries just to make them a little bit more sparkly. As you can tell, they did make them a little bit more sparkly, but the camera does not do these strawberries justice at all because they're actually so pretty, so sparkly, so beautiful, and so delicious. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take these um, cupcake, uh, what do you call these? Um, cupcake liners, mini um, cupcake liners. And I'm just going to show you guys how I put the strawberries in the cupcake liners. I don't know if this part is necessary, but I'm just doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> in case anyone wants to see how you put the cupcakes in the liners. Um, and I do want to say that when you take the, the toothpick out of the strawberries, it's easy to just twist them out, as you can see. And I'm just going to go ahead and just assemble these strawberries in the cupcake liners and just set them on my little display pan. And yeah. And okay guys these are the finished strawberries and as always thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video and if you have not please go ahead and subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for <laughs> and also guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys thought about this video once again thank you guys so 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 much and i will see you soon bye